I don't know who this person is, but I received this message from Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer first. Apparently, this guy has some inside information about the development of the Division 3. I'll just read this first, then we can talk about it. The Division 3 has been in development for a while. It's been hush-hush because one of the primary goals was to leave behind last-gen consoles, which have been a serious hindering on what they could do. They need for there to be a minimal amount if time after next gen was released and the first hints at a Div 3. So it's been long enough that people don't even bother asking if the game will be supported in last gen. Additionally, they were waiting on completion of Unreal Engine 5. Despite the Division games being built in Snowdrop Engine, there were some technical innovations coming to the Unreal Engine 5 that the massive team were waiting to see and possibly implement and or integrate into the snowdrop engine. Div 3 is going to be both a return to the first in terms of atmospheric feel, but also a major innovation that far exceeds the advances made between Div 1 and 2. Changes will include far more interior spaces, a more dynamic world that changes, evolves based on the player's actions. Resurgence is being used as a test bed for some if the innovation in Div 3 like the shared spaces. Now you know that I don't normally make videos about speculation or rumors, but Let's be honest, it's been years of radio silence, leaving us wondering if Division 3 will even be coming in the future of this franchise. But here's the thing, and this is what makes me think that this might be more than just a rumor. Here's one thing the guy said that made sense and really stood out to me. He said, and I quote, Additionally, they were waiting on completion of Real Engine 5. I'm assuming he means Unreal Engine 5 because... There are a few more grammatical errors he made in the post. But continuing on, he said, Despite the Div games being built in the Snowdrop engine, there were some technical innovations coming to the Unreal Engine 5 that massive team were waiting to see and possibly implement and or integrate into the Snowdrop engine. Now, I can attest to this. Unreal Engine 5 was released earlier this year, and I'm actually developing my game in that engine. I'm currently using many of the new insane features that came with it like Lumen and Nanite, which both came exclusively as a new addition to UE5. Lumen and Nanite are Unreal Engine 5's fully dynamic global illumination and reflection system that is designed for next-gen consoles, and they're the default global illumination and reflection systems. Lumen renders diffuse interflection with infinite bounces and indirect specular reflections in large, detailed environments at scales ranging from millimeters and kilometers. Now, I'm sure you don't really know what all that means, but when space is scaled in the Unreal Engine in big worlds, it's hard to manage detail with the lighting in such large spaces. So what's so special about Nanite and Lumen are the revolutionary technologies aimed at building dynamic lighting and high count poly assets, polygons, which are different areas that measure space, poly assets without being too slow, labor intensive, and costly. So Lumen and Nanite are the perfect tools that were added to UE5 for gaming in the next gen. This is essential for next gen gaming, which he specifies in his post when discussing how the Division 3 is not aimed for the older generation consoles. I mean, it's the best of both worlds. You get beautiful environments that have perfect lighting because of Nanite and Lumen with the performance to back it up these are the technological advances that they were talking about but they want the game to be exclusively for next-gen consoles i wonder what they could possibly be cooking up for the next installment i think i have an idea and the division resurgence is a huge part of that i believe resurgence as i said before is a combination of div 1 and 2 with a flavor of its own i'm actually very shocked that they've gone in such detail with a mobile game and I'm actually impressed. Seems like to me they're using the Division Resurgence and the upcoming Heartland to kind of gauge what they want Div 3 to be. <laughs> Listen man, Resurgence is bringing everything back from signature skills to regular skills that were pretty much forgotten from Div 1. As far as the story, how they're trying to rekindle what we once had with the snow in New York, that nostalgic feeling. We're even going back to the OG base of operations. Imagine this. The Division 3 being a fusion of, of Heartland's game feel and Resurgence's skill system with next-gen graphics and technology. If this isn't a dream game, then I don't know what is. And it's not a far-fetched idea to think that The Division 3 is in the works, at least now. It kind of makes sense. Tell me your thoughts about this below. I'd love to have a discussion with you all. I'll catch you in the next one.
Be right out.